The Navy Chief Admiral Nirbal Verma and Defence Minister A.K. Anthony attended the event at the Hindustan Aeronautics Airfield in Bangalore. The aircraft should be ready for deployment on the indigenous aircraft carrier being built at the Cochin shipyard by 2015. Today's rollout will be followed by ground-based systems testing, ground runs, taxi trials and later flight tests. Scientists and engineers hope to get the Naval LCA airborne by the end of the year. Here's a little more about the Naval LCA and what it brings to the battlefield. Its weapons include beyond visual range missiles, anti-ship missiles, anti-aircraft guns and conventional bombs. The jet developers say it can be airborne in as little as 20 meters as against a conventional land-based takeoff of about eight, 800 meters. The Naval LCA will replace India's aging fleet of Sea Harrier aircraft. The Indian Navy says it wants to buy about 50 Tejas aircraft if the platform actually does all it promises. And India's first indigenous naval light combat aircraft, NP-1, rolled out from the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited facility in Bangalore. Our correspondent, Vijay Grover, talks to the pilot who is to fly the aircraft. The pilot maintained it is a quantum leap for the Navy. For the Navy Levation, it's a red letter day as the Tejas NP-1 rolls out. I have with me Lieutenant Commander Ankur. Ankur, uh, you're going to be flying this, the first one when it comes. Uh, could you just tell us how different is it from the Tejas? From the Tejas, as you see, you have a, a strengthened landing gear. We have a different landing gear to take shock for carrier landings and the ski jump takeoff. Then we have an additional surface for uh, lead, called leading edge vortex control. This is again to give uh, higher lift performances on approach. And it will have an arrested, uh, it will have a hook for arrested recovery which will come somewhere behind the landing gear. Right now it is not there, it will be fitted subsequently. Uh, it's going to be the mainstay as far as you know our aircraft carriers are concerned. Uh, how do you think that this aircraft would be like you know meeting the demands since you're going to be one of the f uh, flyers? See, it is our, uh, for, for the indigenous perspective, it is the first attempt to build a naval aircraft and uh, suit it to the carrier requirements. We, our expectations are that, you know, we should be able to meet all, meet all our uh, requirements that the Navy is looking for. And uh, as far as you've flown the Tejas uh, aircraft, uh, Air Force version, uh, how different is that and what's your feel of the Tejas? They just handling wise is very nice. The aircraft is very nice. The systems are very advanced. Uh, it's a quantum jump from what we are flying currently, specifically in the Navy. Air Force has obviously gone a leaps ahead. Uh, we need to follow suit. And we are already falling in terms of MiG 29K. So this is a quantum jump from what we are used to generally. Now, while India celebrates the unveiling of the first indigenously built naval light combat aircraft or the LCA that was rolled out in Bangalore today, there are questions over the huge delay in delivery and the escalating costs of the indigenous program. The program was launched in 1993 and has cost rupees 8,000 so far. Its first flight was held in the year 2001. Its original deadline of December 2008 was shifted to December 2012. IAF is set to buy 40 LCA units. The Naval LCA program began in March 2003 at an estimated cost of rupees 1,715 crore. Its first flight is scheduled for December 2010. This too has been delayed as the original deadline was March 2010 that was missed. Now great hopes are pinned on its revised deadline that's of December 2014. The Kaveri engine used in the LCA program was started in March 1989 at an estimated cost of rupees 2,839 crore. This too has missed its deadline of December 1996 which was later revised to December 2010.